You guys, welcome back for part three of the Chevy Cobalt Misfire case study. We got our head back from the machine shop. So they did a complete valve job, grind the seats, <clears throat> lap them in, and even uh, flatten the head here. Extra smooth finish for the multi-layer steel head gasket. So grand total for this job was about 350 bucks. And uh, well, hopefully it'll last another hundred thousand miles. So all you got to do now is uh, put her back together. And before we fire it up, I do want to perform a a flow test on these fuel injectors here. You know, we have the fuel rail, Schrader valve, everything we need. Do it off the car. You know, look at the flow pattern. See, there's uh, that there's nothing abnormal on cylinder number three. Now the, uh, the machinist told me that the other exhaust valves weren't too far behind. He said some of them look kind of ugly, so maybe it's just you know a manufacturing defect that the valve seats and the exhaust valves uh, you know go bad. So I guess I'll see you in a, in a few hours here when I have this all buttoned up. If there's anything interesting, I'll turn the camera back on. But uh, next shot will be. I guess of the uh, fuel rail injector flow test. All right, we got the head back on, bolted down. Everything's almost ready to go. Now I want to do the injector flow and balance test. So here's the fuel rail. We got our OTC injector tester connected right to the main bulk connector here. The lower pin is the main common feed and then the four upper pins are going to be injectors one through four. So here we have injector one ready to fire but first we need to prime the fuel pump and uh, pressurize the system to get accurate readings so through the scan tool here I'm going to turn the fuel pump on off all right, and our pressure stabilizes at about 45. Okay. Let's try that again. I'm going to hit the button, down to about 33, let's try that again, so let's for consistency, so I guess we're starting at 40, let's start at 48, down to 33. Okay, let's write that down. So here we go. We start at 49 psi and we drop down to 33. And I'll do it again for you so you can see the actual spray pattern. I don't know if the camera is going to pick this up. See it's a nice fine mist consistent every time. Now I'm going to move on to the next injector. Alright, we're hooked to injector number two. Let's repressurize. So I wonder why it's bleeding down. Let's try that again. I hit the button. Thirty-three on the money. Try again. Start at forty-nine. Thirty-three. All right, I'm happy with that. Let's 
Moving on to injector number three. All right. Repressurize. Start 49. Thirty-three. So nothing wrong. Nothing wrong with that injector. Do it one more time for consistency. Oh. Wrong button. All right, ready? Let's see the spray pattern. Nice mist. Down to thirty-three. Cool. Last one. All right, injector number four, here we go. Thirty-three, perfect. One more time. Great. All right, that's it for the injector flow test. Now I feel confident putting everything back together and firing it up. All right, almost ready for the moment of truth here. Got it filled up with oil. Uh, I still have to add coolant, but I want to crank it over and uh, just to build up oil pressure, make sure the timing chain tensioner works before I actually fire it up. So coils are disconnected, injectors are disconnected. Let's just crank this baby over. <clears throat> Lights off, there's the oil light. All right, I like how it cranks. Is my headlight out? Oh, there it is. All right, I'm gonna plug everything back in, add coolant, and see how she runs. All right, guys, moment of truth. Got our misfire counters up. Trouble codes cleared. Here goes nothing. Oh yeah, no misfires. Sounds good. Let's fill her up with coolant. I'll take it for a spin. All right, back from the test drive. Runs like new. Purrs like a kitten. I think it turned out real well. So hopefully the fix will last, you know, another hundred thousand miles, or at least until the, the customer decides to sell it or run it into the ground. So. Yep, that's it. Uh, I think that was a good case study, you know, uh, from diagnosis to tear down and the final fix. So, you know, three parts. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any suggestions in the comments. Uh, look forward to more case studies. So, it's uh, it's almost midnight here, so it's time for me to hit the hay, but. I'll catch you guys next time. See you later. Bye.